Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gui. Teaching the Faro and Research Hospital. Thank you once again. When you look at non-communicable disease such as cancer, it's become really a monster, so to speak. Uh, in this country alone, we have over uh, 43,000 cases with almost uh, 30,000 deaths as a result of cancer. And uh, breast cancer is uh, not just uh, a, a disease that affects women, but it also be, it goes beyond uh, looking it's at uh, societal issues having huge impact uh, in the livelihoods as well. Uh, but we also realize that we do not have uh, adequate uh, professionals, uh, we do not have uh, adequate infrastructure as well, uh, and that's why when we gather um, African countries here, uh, this training would be able to empower them that when they go back they can be able to handle this issue of uh, uh, imaging, uh, you know, so to speak. And at the same time, they have this opportunity to share uh, information and ideas and strengthen the network in the continent of Africa. Kenya helped pave the way in terms of strengthening radiation therapy first and our agency synergistically uh, helped procure and install several linear accelerators for radiation therapy uh, treatment and Kenya stepped up to the plate and volunteered to be a host of this regional course for 13 African member states to strengthen breast cancer imaging. I think our main challenge has been on capacity building, but we have been able to train most of our staff, and especially in areas of molecular diagnosis, uh, areas of nuclear medicine, we were the first hospital in this region to have a cyber knife. We have a Linux machine. We have quite a number of equipments, advanced equipment in this area, and most of our people have been trained. We have taken the next step, and that's why I say it's a challenge, because we're experiencing a lot of requests from all over Africa, in marginalized areas of Kenya and Africa at large, in terms of training. So if we look, and this is why we were quite happy when uh, IEA brought this training to, to Kenya, and of course we were ready to host it, and we are supporting 13, about 13 countries.